Welcome to Custom Welding's short primer on how to repair a damaged ferro cement boat. The boat shown here was damaged when it went on a beach. The concrete has been cracked. The rebar within the concrete has been stretched and it is quite severely damaged, but it can still be repaired. The first step is to remove all of the concrete. It can be done with a couple of hammers, crushing the concrete between the hammers. It has to be brought back so all the cracks, all the major cracks have been removed. The next step is to remove all the chicken wire on the outside so that you can get at the rebar within. The rebar itself will then have to be straightened and made to conform to the original lines of the hull. Sometimes the rebar will have to be cut because it has been stretched and there's no way to get it back into shape and that where it has been cut other rebar will have to be spliced in. We would tend to use high tensile rebar because it holds the, uh, the shape of the hull better and of course it's very much stronger than regular steel or mild steel. The next step is to apply the chicken wire. Um, four layers have to go on the inside and four layers on the outside and at every intersection of the rebar it has to be tied. The ties are done with a, a device that uh, we manufacture ourselves using a, it's a potato bag closer with a vice grip, small pair of vice grips uh, welded to it. And you use uh, wire staples and you hold the two ends of the staples together and pull it and it spins the uh, it spins the vice grips and creates a nice tie and then it's tucked into the metal fabric so it doesn't stick out. Um, when all four layers have been put on, both the inside and the outside, it's, uh, it's time to plaster the boat with the special concrete. Um, we use repair concrete, but before we actually start working on the boat, what we like to do is prepare a test panel so we become familiar with the use of the concrete and its texture and so on and so forth. And, uh, and this, uh, you can see here, is the test panel that we built. Um, we uh, we uh, tested it by throwing rocks at it and jumping on it, and uh, it was very, very strong indeed. With the test panel completed, we are now ready to start plastering the boat. Um, we use uh, repair concrete to, uh, to do this. We mix it up in five gallon batches using a half inch drill um, with a uh, paint mixing attachment. And uh, one person is inside the boat pushing the the concrete through the armature or the metal parts and then someone's outside pushing it back through to make sure there's no voids. You always keep a wet edge. You move from one side of the hole in the boat to the other and then someone else follows up and floats the concrete making sure it's nice and smooth. Um, this particular repair took 12 hours to complete. It was a lot of work but when we were done the, uh, the finished result was that the boat looked as good as it was when it was new. Thank you for watching our video. If you would like to have us come down and repair your Ferris Mount boat, please contact us at the uh, contact information below. Thank you very much.